All right, well, it's Friday, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, coming off a week, we got about an inch and a half of rain, uh, which was good, but it kind of put me on hold a little bit on the job I was going to do uh, this week. So um, kind of prepping and thinking about, uh, you know, different things. And I thought, you know, I'd run through kind of my setup when I run the dozer and I'm gonna grade out a pad. Um, I think it's probably a little dinosaur-ish for some folks that are on here, but this is how I do it uh, and it works for me. Uh, I don't have GPS, uh, so I do it, I guess, the old way, but uh, I've got the, case. the uh, Case 650M uh, dozer. It is a 74 horse, roughly 18,500 pounds, give or take. Um, but it's just uh, no GPS, uh, no electric over hydraulic controls, just your standard uh, pilot controls. Uh, you've got your Ford and then you've got back and then you've got your blade, six-way blade uh, here. So uh, nothing special in, in a decelerator pedal. Um, nothing special about it, um, but it's, I guess, kind of the old school, <laughs> or I guess it works for me, I don't know. Not old school, I guess it's old new school because um, we're not uh, pulling rods or anything. So, um, but anyway, um, this has got a, a 11 foot blade on it. And so I thought I'd walk through kind of a general setup. I'm not grading anything now, I'm just sitting in my driveway, but uh, I've got the laser transit and then the receiver set up. And I thought I'd at least kind of walk through what I use and how I kind of set it up, generally speaking. So for demonstration purposes, we're gonna have, we're gonna assume that the blade is already set at uh, the grade that we want. Uh, so what we generally would do is set up the laser. So I use a uh, Spectra Precision and it's a GL1425C dual grade laser. And, uh, and you can really, for, for this LR50 that I'm gonna show you, you can use any uh, laser that you want. And so I use the Spectra Precision LR50 and I know, I've watched a few reviews. This is an older kind of style on how to do things, but I'll tell you what, it'll get you pretty close. I do pads probably anywhere up to about 200 by 200 um, with this. And it does, I mean, it's plus or minus, you know, half inch, inch, you know, um, but, uh, and you're gonna have some of that grade uh, move up and down. But I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just great when you're trying to do something you know, you're gonna put aggregate back on it, you're gonna level it back out, um, prep for concrete, for forms or whatever, but just to get a level area. So basically, um, what I thought I'd do is I'd show you the components I have. So, um, all right. So first up, I've got in a magnetic rod, I don't know who makes this, I got this from my local uh, shop, but essentially, um, first I would go ahead and level out and, um, you know, make sure that the blade itself is level. Um, you know, and we're just, you know, demonstrating purposes, it's pretty close. Uh, then I would make sure uh, to go ahead and put on my rod. So I'll go ahead and throw you here, throw the rod on. And then I obviously would make sure that the rod is level. So get it pretty level, get it close. Um, I think it's off, there we go. Probably got it better now. Nope. <laughs> Pretty good right there. And then I'd uh, go ahead and drop on the LR50 receiver. And since we know this is exactly where we want it, I'd go ahead and I have my laser running, or my receiver, or yeah, my laser out there. I'm gonna go ahead and set it down until it flashes green. So I'll bring this a little bit closer to you, but essentially uh, we're set right here on grade. And so I'll take you off here and so, the, what the LR50 does is it gives you indications for um, on grade, and you can also set uh, your variables uh, for how your tolerance is essentially. So when I'm doing rough grading, I generally put on the highest tolerance because otherwise you're going to throw the blade up and down. But what we're doing here is if you loosen this up, I'll loosen this one a little bit. So you can set this, and you can see it as it'll tell you as you're moving the blade. I've got to, you know, and as you're going through and grading, it'll tell you, hey, okay, you got to bring this blade up to hit grade. 
in green, you're at grade. Hey, I hit a, another spot and I need to bring it back down. It's flashing. So, and it's pretty awesome that way in regard to um, giving you indications on, on my, am I on grade or not? I think what's el what else is pretty nice about this and, you know, again, some people will probably say, oh, this is old and nobody uses that anymore. But, um, you know, when you're cutting in a swale and you need to have, you know, the blade tipped, um, you know, generally speaking, you can watch this and monitor, okay, maybe I want to run, you know, at the first dot, which is probably somewhere around 5% ish, you know, probably that three to 5%, um, you can run a swale and, I, and that's just a, a guess, you know, based on what I've done, you can run that all the way down through without even, you know, you don't need your uh, laser or you can set a, you know, if you've got uh, on your laser, um, if you want to set, hey, I want to run, you know, a swale, I'm going to cut it at, you know, roughly three to 5% and I want a, and it's going to slope away towards, you know, away from me and I want to run at 2%, you can set, you know, your receiver, you can set this <laughs> and you can, you cut a swale and cut away rather than guessing. And so, I mean, a lot of times you can, it just depends on the lay of the land, right? You know, if you've got an obvious slope away or downslope, I mean, run this, I'll, I'll put this on and just, you know, cut in and try to, you know, make a swell that kind of matches all the way down through. Um, I mean, it's just, a, it's just another tool in the toolbox, I guess, you know, um, you know, a lot of guys probably have GPS these days. Um, you know, there's probably some guys will run two of those, one on each side. You can actually uh, chain them together. So it's just how I set it up. I mean, that once I start, once I get this thing set up and run the pad, I mean, it's, it's gonna be good, it's done. I mean, I'll come back through with the skid steer and clean up like the spoils in some of the uh, windrows. Um, but I mean, it works out awesome. So I just thought I'd do a quick video on kind of the dozer, not specific to the dozer, but kind of like my setup um, to build building pads. Uh, if you have questions, I mean, comments, be nice. <laughs> if you're gonna get, you know, uh, eat me alive on the LR50, but um, but those that don't have an, any clue, I mean, uh, outside of running a string line, you know, or, or just guessing, some will say, well, run that dozer and just look at it. Well, you know, a lot of times your mind plays tricks on you. And if you're trying to build something super flat, um, you know, you can do it a couple different ways. But like with the dozer, this seems to be the easiest for me personally, um, outside of spending 20 grand or whatever on a GPS. Um, I think I'll just stick with this for now. But if you have questions... Any comments, um, happy to answer those and hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something. Take care.